is going on guys welcome to the channel my name is Ty Kernan and this is Kernan with Kernan and uh, I'm happy to be here covering everything racing involving Ty Kernan racing and um, you know everything else that's going on uh, the, anything with wheels is going to be right here uh, whether it's we're, we're running go-karts just having a little fun we're in the dirt late model um, we're at the track with my buddy Jesse and, and his modified wherever uh, I'm going to try to bring it on here to the page. So welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, share it with your friends, and um, let's grow this out. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with me, um, like I said, my name is Ty Kernan, C-U-R-N-I-N, and uh, I'm an independent artist doing country music, and I do can do pretty much anything else. Um, whether it's rock or more rap style, but country is the main focus for me. And I'm also driving this dirt late model now. Uh, racing is something that I've been doing since 13. I started out in go-karts when I was five, just kind of around town on the back roads behind the house in the dirt. And that's the only experience I had on dirt. Um, walking into this dirt late model, stepping into it this year, um, had some experience on asphalt, you know, with the mini cups when I turned 13. That's, you know, what my mom could afford. We got into that. We got into the sport fours. Uh, I went down south, did some testing um, in a um, Kimball World truck. There was a K&N East deal at one point when I was 16 for Team Earnhardt um, that was pretty much ready to go. I didn't get my NASCAR license at that point because I didn't have enough under my belt um, for Mr. Bodine to give me the license at that time. I talked to him on the phone. I think it was Jeff Bodine. I kind of mix up the names sometimes, but great guy. And, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. I, I was young at, at that point. Now now these kids these days are, are super young. I, I say that these kids these days, I'm, I'm 25 and I'm feeling, I'm feeling old. And, um, but anyways, I'm back in racing now with dirt racing something i've never done before um the deal came about on this dirt late model and paul and his family were great his um girlfriend danielle everybody was great and um i'm happy everything worked out to be able to get it and uh it's it's uh, it's crazy i mean been out of racing for about six years i believe and I'm sure a lot of people didn't think I'd be getting back into it, but once it's uh, in your heart, it's in your blood, you can't escape it. And I am it, so stoked to be back. I'm speechless. Uh, it, it's been really great. This is all new to me. We kind of just showed up and straight sent it. Uh, never driven the car before never driven on dirt before um i ran at rumtown speedway in new hampshire um some great people there curtis uh, dan the, the, the flag man uh and, and several other people that that we met there um from other teams kyle a lot of cool people that we met and they they made the experience fun I'd never been there. Everybody loved the car. That was about it. You know, oh, this, 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 this. That was kind of cool. I'm not used to having something that, I don't know, might stand out as cool <laughs> or best looking or something like that. Um, so that, that, that was cool. We definitely have some nice equipment, which is nice for once. Um, it, it might be a little dated. Um, in, in Southern standards, since they're always getting new stuff. And this is a 2014 um, rocket chassis. But for me, it's a pretty good place to start. And, and we'll move forward as we go. So Rumtown was cool. They changed the track configuration a couple times with the corners. Um, but, you know, <laughs> the big thing for me was adjusting to that Burt transmission. If anybody knows you guys, if you know about Burt, transmissions it's a whole different ball game and that was my first time driving it right there at the track on race day you know there's no practice um there were some hot laps but the track was super super muddy and uh we came home fifth in the feature 
usually there was like a, I don't know, 10 plus, 10, maybe 11 car field sometimes. Except for the last race of the year, there was probably up near 20 cars because um, the other track came down and joined us for that. So, I mean, we had a pretty good, pretty good year, a few uh, top five finishes and just, you know, trying to learn. There was no setup in the car. I had zero setup. Um, I did get a book from Rocket, but there was never, uh, as far as they have a um, setup book, but never put a setup in the car. Ran the same tires that were on it when I bought it because um, I was just out there trying to log some laps and, and, you know, stay out of the way. But we managed to have a couple nice finishes that I can't complain about. And, um, you know, we'll have a setup in it for this upcoming year and, and we'll go get after it. We'll try to get that win. And uh, I think this is something we can definitely accomplish in 2021. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we'll be making an appearance back at Rumtown this season at some point. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, there's a lot of nice people there. Met some people that I'm probably gonna be talking to for a while. And I, I just actually got a text from Curtis the other day, you know, wishing me a Merry Christmas. And he's a great guy. He's He was there every, every time we showed up to the track, lending some advice. So that was helpful. I appreciate that man. And, and Dan as well, always there helping out. So I appreciate that. Also, um, can't forget Jesse, um, Mackenzie, Jack, and, and Jesse's girlfriend Sage all showed up and made appearances to the track on a couple of occasions. Mackenzie was there pretty much every week. I think she missed one race out of the five or six that we did. Um, Jesse and his dad in between their racing because they race in asphalt modified extra mod at Hudson. Um, you know, that, that it gets kind of hectic. He's racing on this day. He's racing Sundays. I'm racing Saturdays. So it gets kind of hectic, but they managed to come down and I appreciate that. And uh, I reciprocated that and, and showed up as much as I could to his races. What is going on, Team Ty Kernan? Welcome to the channel, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. It is a beautiful Saturday. What day is it? The 25th. And uh, we are headed on a special journey today. This is a fun music related deal today. And we're gonna take you along for the ride. So show them a little highway action. A little bit of highway action. We got the Cine, Cine buns on the dash. Gonna heat, them up. <gasps> gonna heat them up after I drop them on my lap. Perfect. I need something for the views, baby. Oh, yeah. I look like I had a. Yeah, get some of that New Hampshire scenery real quick. Right now, we're kind of out here. Another 15 miles taking a right. On the 89 North. Welcome to New Hampshire. If you've never been here, it's a beautiful state. We like coming up here. I'd live here if it wasn't for the, the whole snow situation. I'm not that big a fan of a lot of snow. A little, it's fine, because that's what we grew up with. But, uh, no. Too much is no good, right, Ken? Right. Right. But. I lived in Maine, so right. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Maine's also beautiful. Mm-hmm. Vermont's nice too. I don't know what I got against Vermont. I just we just don't know it enough. I just don't know it enough, but it's it's pretty. Uh, so we are in New Hampshire, and we are gonna keep you posted as we go along. So yeah, yeah. Y'all are probably still wondering what 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 is happening. I know the anticipation is gonna kill them. The Ty. anticipation. <laughs> You'll soon find out. I'm surprised I even know. He's a very secretive guy. Very secretive guy. This is this this, this is how I do things. I keep reaching for my neck because I probably <laughs> have a piece of Mackenzie's hair freaking stuck on me somehow. Whoops. Because the windows have been down. Arm out the window. Feet on the dash. Um. So. Yeah, very secretive guy. No matter what I'm doing, even when it comes to putting out music, I mean, I have to. You know, promote it to an a certain degree 
Uh, I don't do it as much as I should promote it. Maybe it would help mm. them do a lot better, but I just don't know that much about that stuff. So we're learning as we go with that. Um, but yeah, I'm top secret all the time. Even when I moved to Nashville, nobody knew except for the people that were real close to me. And I have a super small circle. Um, and then I showed up and some people were like, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? And even when I left, nobody barely knew I, I was leaving. I didn't know either. Yeah, even my best friend here I didn't even know. Uh, both you Jesse didn't know either. I know, no one uh, knew. My best friends didn't know that I left. My mom didn't know that I left. Uh, but she had called me and the uh, the water tank in our house had blown up, flooded the hole downstairs. And uh, I just wanted to make sure I got back to help my mom out with that. Uh, so that's why I left. And what's meant to be is meant to be. You don't need to be in, you don't need to be in Nashville um, to make music. <laughs> You got a stadium on the side of the yeah, road. Yeah, got a stady, so you see me, you see me drop down that middle lane, slow it down. Get that stady action with the Dodge Charger, green, and that color's supposed to be pink. I guess it's pink. It's weird. Weird color combo. Yeah. But look for your die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess on that waterway action. <laughs> so we went on our first road trip. I had to get freaking a video or Did you see all those Amazon vans? There was like 10 in that line. You got my package? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't have one coming. Um, I had to get every overpass we went over. Like, I would be like, Ty, slow down, I gotta get a picture. Oh yeah, every, every overpass slowing down. And if he, I was the one driving, he was the one taking the picture. Yep. He was so good about it. We yep. went from... Massachusetts to New Jersey to West Virginia to Tennessee to North Carolina and then through Pennsylvania back home. Yep. Great, great trip. Yeah, we love going on trips. We do. And we did a second one, very similar, just a few different stops. But yeah, we had a good old time. Good old time. We travel well. Yep, went with our friend uh, Marissa the second time. Nice, huh? Yep. So good yep. stuff. I'm pulling up on the toll, and I'm hoping <laughs> it's not like a cash booth because we don't have that much cash on us. I do. She has cash. I always, always have cash. Always got cash. Use cash. That is my advice. Use cash. Always use based cash. it on my recent experience, yeah, which I'm not going to share, but yep. just use cash. Yep. I don't know what we got here. I think it's um. One mile. Sent. Oh, it says cash, yeah, but I don't know with cash. COVID. See, so this is the first time we've been away since the virus started, which I guess is good, yeah. but we had the travel bug, yeah. and we're only getting away for one night, but we're going to make the most of it, huh? Yeah. Going to yeah. see our friends Kelly and John. Yeah. We're going to let us stay with them, which is so sweet of them. Very sweet. I'm going to try to drive John's ATV around his land. There you go. Hopefully not crash it. Granite Woods. What is that? Granite Woods. Mini, mini golf, golf and ice cream. cream. Oh, we love a good mini golf place. And, uh, yeah. Well, let's see what's happening with this toll. At tolls. I better get my... Wait, at tolls what? 5 a.m. tonight? Easy pass or cash. Easy pass or cash. Let me get my wallet out. See, he, he doesn't carry cash on purpose because he freaking gets away with it. Oh, geez. Just kidding. He's driving us, so... They don't have the pay by plate? I guess not. Sorry, my uh, hand was just across. Is it only a dollar? That's what it says, I think. He can't read it all, so he needs freaking <laughs> no, glasses. They, most of them know I have uh, not Let's the see. best site. Cash or easy pass. Yeah, one, have easy two pass. axle auto? No, no, no. I'm just a, oh, just a one dollar. It says cars, one dollar. Oh, okay. It's me. I don't know what we're gonna have to pay with the trailer. That's a good question. Hi. Huh? Thank you. Whoa. He had like a deep voice. Thank you. Yeah, was that Darth Vader? Try they gotta wear masks, try man. Not that to touch sucks. His gloves. He had black gloves on, and I'm allergic to latex, so I touched fingertips. <laughs> Just the tips. Just the tips. <laughs> 
Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna have to pay more on the way back. I don't know. Question. Probably because we're heading toward Massachusetts and. Oh, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. It's alright. But, uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you guys in a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Peace off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is road town, it turned me into Yeah, oh man, I had a day All these old doubts, acres of world All the reasons I am the man Short track start. I broke in hearts. Oh. All right, guys, so we're closing in here. Took a stop for gas. BR break. <laughs> in a porta potty? Yep. Gas you is, gotta uh, do what you gotta do. Gas is 213, so that's cheaper than where I live, so no complaints. Put 45 bucks in the truck. Closing in here, we got seven minutes to go until we get there. So, still on the highway. Still on the highway. Still on the highway. Going close. And uh, almost time for them to know what's happening. Any guesses? <laughs> yeah, any guesses? Leave them in. Leave them in the comments. Any guesses on what's happening? Uh huh. Uh, just comment down below. Beautiful scenery though. So now beautiful. you can't really see because of the trees, but uh, mm -hmm. it's the right bottom mountain action going on. <laughs> what? None. I'm seeing if I missed the. Oh, no, no, you're good. Alright. So All right. we will check back with you when we're there. Mm hmm. Let's see, we might get some views over here. We'll see. I left it. <laughs> Ty's getting nervous. The last half an hour he's been like dead quiet. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, look at that old truck. Watching this right now, <laughs> I still can't believe it. Such a crazy moment, and uh, you know, <laughs> it almost brings tears to my eyes. It it's super exciting. So you're gonna see a lot of camera angle so. at the ground. I wasn't sure if they wanted to be recorded and I wasn't sure quite how to bring it up. Um, but they're great people. I really don't have their faces on here um, too much. So this is him bringing the car out, them showing me how to cram it into the trailer because it barely fits. And uh, like I said, they were great people. So shout out to them. Thank you. 
Just, oh, just a little short. Gonna have to do it on the oh, bar. Push it a little bit then. Pull it off the tree. And almost. Another, another two inches. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Perfect. Enough. Just enough. <laughs> I was gonna have you drive it, but my ass is soaked right now. It's all good. Yes, your ass is soaked. <laughs> oh shit, I was like, oh, I was hoping it would dry on time. Uh, <laughs> we're in Hatton. So this kinky little procedure here is literally a life saver. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you can drive the car. Yeah, you can drive the car right here. He'll let you drive it and he'll run the winch. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure that doesn't hit bump on that bump. Am I clear? You're clear. That way. That way. I can't go that way any farther. I'm fucking off the door. I need to get the tire in there, lady. Did you just say ho? I said ho. Right. Watch that rear quarter right there. Yeah. We live. We live. We live. So as you guys saw a little bit of clip of, I'm gonna stick some more clips in. We went and got a dirt lay model. <laughs> we did what? Yeah, we did what? We went and got a dirt lay model. Spotted off some nice people. Mm. Got a trailer too. Gotta work out a little bit of kinks with the trailer. You can probably hear that chain. Need a little bit of tall hitch, but it'll do for now. So yeah. Going dirt lay model racing. Yeah, we are. We're out here in corn country. Corn country. So beautiful here. You excited, Ty? Yeah. Can you believe it? No, I can't believe it. Honestly. It hasn't, it hasn't hit me. Back in the race car. Give some history. Huh? Give some history. Give some history. Okay, so. Who pick you up? Sorry, sorry. Uh, history so, time. So back in the day, I got my first go kart when I was five, and uh, I watched a lot of NASCAR and racing when I was younger. And then at 13, we finally got the money to be able to buy a mini cup, which is like a go kart kind of Honda GS390 motor. It pretty much looked like a mini NASCAR. We raced those mm -hmm. for a few years, two different divisions. Then we got into a four cylinder. Um, and we've run some stuff in between, doing some testing and street stops, testing down south, and uh, you know, we 
run we're on an asphalt, but we're like, let's give it a try because you only live once and you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So let's take a shot here and and uh, give it a chance. So that's what we're doing. We're giving it a shot. It's a nice car. Um, great people. They look like they're going to help out a little bit as we get going here. And uh, looking forward to it. Woo. So there you go. That's a little brief, you know, walk through of our day going to buy the 604 late model. That is what we're currently running, and that is the plan, I believe, uh, for 2021 is to continue running 604 and get some races under my belt. Seat time, seat time, seat time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is my first kind of video putting together like this. And I, I can't wait to have more to come at the racetrack with us every week. I'm going to bring you there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the ride. Lastly, shout out to Jesse's parents, Jack and Sharon, for letting me stay at their house several times over this racing season. I will fall asleep behind the wheel late at night. They allowed me to stay there, gave me a safe place to put the car and the trailer. So thank you again. I know I thank you guys, but thank you, thank you. I love y'all. You guys are family to me and uh, you mean a lot to me. So so thank you for that. It means a lot. And uh, man, this is the whole thing's just crazy. Just sitting here watching through this whole thing. It's, uh, I don't know what to say. It's crazy. So I'm looking forward to uh, a great season ahead. <sighs> Let's get it done.